Hello, dear students. I'm Rajvinder Kaur, English mistress from Government Middle School, Rudki Kala, District, Shaheed Bhagat Singh Nagar. Today, we are going to do a very easy, very interesting, and very scoring topic of your syllabus that is poster comprehension before we jump to our topic have a good look at this picture is picture de vich tusi dekho ki ik ice cream bani hui hai which car is worth or is equal to likh hai and last de vich kuch ik words likhe hue han I will give you a hint. This picture is a very famous saying. Socho, kedi kahavat ho sakti hai? Think about it. Yes, a picture is worth a thousand words. In other words, we can say it is better to see. then here asi agar kise nu koi bhi gal samjhani hove ta asi chahe hazaran shabdan da pryog kar liye par phir bhi agar asi us nu ik cheez koi dikha ke samjhaunde ha ta oh easily samajh vich aa janda hai tusi vi dekho even when your teachers teach you by examples ya by showing things tusi jaldi samajhde ho hai na thode hor examples apa dekhte hain you must have seen these signs apa road te te jande hain eh sare signs tusi zarur dekhe honge and these lights too eh vi apa sab ne dekhiyan hoyan hain what do they say a signs ya lights ki convey karte hai sanu every sign conveys a different thing like this no parking sign whenever we see this sign we know that parking is not allowed here ik p de upar cross lagaya hai to sanu pata lag janda hai ਕਿ ਇਥੇ ਪਾਰਕਿੰਗ ਅਲਾਊਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਸਿਮਿਲਰਲੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਟਰਨ ਸਾਈਨ ਇਸ ਸਾਈਨ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਕਿ ਇਥੋਂ ਗਾੜੀ ਘੁਮਾ ਕੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਅਲਾਊਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਐਵਰ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਥਿਸ ਟ੍ਰਾਇਐਂਗੂਲਰ ਸਾਈਨ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ there is a school nearby is sign to sanu pata lag janda hai ki nede hi koi school hai to sanu apni gaddi hauli chalani chahiye hai and whenever we see this sign we know that there is a speed breaker ahead sanu pata lag janda hai ਕਿ ਅੱਗੇ ਸਪੀਡ ਬ੍ਰੇਕਰ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਗੱਡੀ ਨੂੰ ਸਲੋ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਥੀਸ ਲਾਈਟਸ ਥੀਸ ਲਾਈਟਸ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਸਪੀਕ ਬਟ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਵੇ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਐਵਰੀ ਲਾਈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਰੈਡ ਲਾਈਟ ਇਟ ਟੈਲਸ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਪ ਇਹ ਰੈਡ ਲਾਈਟ ਸਾਡੇਲੀ ਰੁਕਣ ਦਾ ਇਸ਼ਾਰਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਥਿਸ ਯੈਲੋ ਲਾਈਟ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ ਦ ਰੈਡ ਲਾਈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸੈਟ ਔਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਸੂਨ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲ ਯੈਲੋ ਲਾਈਟ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲ ਰਹਿਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ whenever we see 
this green light it asks us to move on green light sanu kehndi hai ki hun sanu agge jaan di ijazat hai sanu ye lights koi vi naal sanu written instructions nahi dinda ki na lights de ki meaning han par fir vi sanu ਇਨਾ ਲਾਈਟਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਂ ਟ੍ਰੈਫਿਕ ਸਾਈਨਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਪਤਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਇਹ ਟ੍ਰੈਫਿਕ ਸਾਈਨ ਜਾਂ ਇਹ ਲਾਈਟ ਆਏਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਨ ਐਜ਼ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਕੰਪ੍ਰੀਹੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਯਾਨੀ ਤਸਵੀਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਡੀਅਰ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਡਨ ਥਿਸ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਕੰਪ੍ਰੀਹੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਸਿੰਸ 6th ਕਲਾਸ ਇੱਕ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਉਸ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਬੇਸਡ ਕੁਝ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਆਨਸਰਸ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਹੀ ਆਨਸਰਸ ਚੂਜ਼ ਕਰਨੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਰਾਈਟ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਰੀਡ ਦ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਫॉर ਯੂ ਫਰਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਮੈਨੀ ਕਿਡਸ ਆਰ ਪਲੇਇੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਪਾਰਕ ਆਪਸ਼ਨਸ ਆਰ 2 3 4 second question how many dogs are there in the picture a none b one c two third question one boy is playing on a a seesaw b swing and c slide and fourth question is one girl is playing with a a cat b dog and c butterfly now as we have read the questions we will observe the picture carefully and when we are observing the picture carefully we must keep the questions in mind now we will read the question again how many kids are playing in the park 2 3 or 4 let's count 1 2 3 4 there are four kids in the park now the next question how many dogs are there in the picture let's again look at the picture how many dogs can you see 1 2 so there are two dogs in the picture now the third question one boy is playing on a seesaw swing slide again see the picture one boy is playing on a slide yes you got it right and now let's do the last question one girl is playing with a cat dog or butterfly you can easily answer it by looking at the picture see the one girl is playing with a dog yes they were pretty easy questions for you after picture comprehension let us move to another type of comprehension that is reading comprehension the question is what is reading comprehension according to wikipedia reading comprehension is the ability to process text understand its meaning and to integrate with what the reader already knows in the other words we can say reading comprehension is the ability 
to fully understand what is being read and being able to answer some questions based on that reading means ditte hue text de vichon read karke samajh ke questions the answer find out karne now the question is how do we do reading comprehension ida ve karan da pura procedure hai steps hai the few steps involved are first read and understand the questions then read the given text and while reading the text you have to keep in mind the questions you have already read now read the questions again to find answers from the given text so apa pehla questions read karange फिर क्वेश्चन में ध्यान रख के टैक्सट रीड करा और उस तो बाद क्वेश्चन दोबारा रीड करा तो सूँ आंसरस पूरे मिल जाएंगे नाउ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड पिक्चर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन एंड रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन एज वैल दो ही फीचर्स मिला के सा पोस्टर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन बन जाती है ओके सो सब तो पहला असं ये जान लीए कि पोस्टर हों की है वट इज़ अ पोस्टर अकॉर्डिंग टू मीरियम वैबसर डिक्शनरी A poster is usually large printed sheet that often contains pictures and is posted in a public place as to promote something. तो सी ये अपने आसपास बहुत सारे posters देखे होंगे जिधे विच थोड़ा text होना या थोड़ी हम pictures होनी हैं या वो लोकानु information देन दे नहीं होने या so ईजीली अंडरस्टूड इनफोमेन जी लोगों उन्होंने मिल जाती है ना हैव अ लुक एट दिस नैशनल डी वॉर्मिंग डे पोस्टर नाउ दिस पोस्टर कंटेन्स डिफरेंट थिंग्स दैट वॉम इनफेस्टेन कैन कॉज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वॉम इनफेक्शन एंड डिफरेंट गुड प्रैक्टिस टू रिड्यूस वॉम इनफेक्शन इन अडिशन टू डी वॉर्मिंग सो जिस तरह अपने कॉम्प्रीहेंशन के स्टैप्स आ लैट्स फर्स्ट लुक एट द क्वेश्चन द फस्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द सिमटम ऑफ इनफेक्शन ए लॉस ऑफ एपेटाइट बी अनकलीन सराउंडिंग्स सी इनफेक्टिड एडल्ट्स एंड डी डी वॉमिंग द सैकेंड क्वेश्चन इज Which of the following habit can help to prevent worm infection? A. Weight loss. B. Open defecation. C. Hand washing. And D. Diarrhea. And next is the third question. What is the easy way to treat worm infection? A. Awareness. B. Implementation of National Deworming Day. C. intake of albendazole tablet and d regular visit to physician the fourth question deficiency of iron is called a diarrhea b nausea c infection and d anemia fifth question which of the following is not a good practice to reduce worm infestation a keeping food covered b wearing shoes c drinking clean water and d keeping nails dirty now when we have read the questions and understood them let us again look at the posters it has got three different parts let us look at these parts one by one the first part is worm infestation can cause anemia anemia yani khoon di kami jehdi ke iron de kaat de naal hundi hai nutritional impairment yani poshtik tatvan di kaat ho jani loss of appetite yani bhookh na lagna weight loss yani par kat jana 
एंड लास्ट इज स्टमक एक नोजिया वॉमिटिंग एंड डायरिया यानी पेट दर्द पेट की खराबी और उल्टियाँ और पेट खराब रहना so these are the different things that the worm infestations can cause yani agar kisi de pet de vich keede hon ta eh sab kuch uh, symptoms onu dikhai denge now the next part is how to treat worm infection deworming using albendazole 400 mg is a simple solution used to treat worm infection albendazole is a safe drug for mass administration both infected and non infected children and adults bachcho to ne sareya nu hi national deworming day da ta yaad hona hi hai us din tonu sare hi bachcha nu har ek class di har ek bachche nu एलबेंडाजोल टैबलेट्स दिखाई जाए चाहे कि उन्होंने पेट में कीड़े, होन या ना होन। uh, because it is a safe drug. कीड़े हो या ना हो बिकॉज इट इज़ अ सेफ ड्रग सब देने वास्ते एक सेफ मेडिसन है नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नैक्सट पार्ट ऑफ द पोस्टर दिस पार्ट इज अबाउट द डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिस टू रिड्यूस वॉम इन्फेक्शन इन एडिशन टू डी वॉमिंग now these practices include keep your surroundings clean means apne aale dwale nu assi khud bilkul saaf rakhna hai wear shoes yani joote aur chappal pehen ke rakhne hai jadon vi assi bahar jana hai taaki pairon to koi infection jehda hai saade sharir ch dakhal na ho sake do not defecate in the open ऑलवेज यूज़ अ टॉयलेट यानी बाहर खुले दखाना नहीं जाना हमेशा शौचालय यूज करना है ड्रिंक क्लीन वाटर बिल्कुल साफ पानी पीना है वॉश योर हैंड्स विद सोप स्पेशली बिफोर ईटिंग एंड आफ्टर यूजिंग टॉयलेट अपने हाथों साबुन और पानी के नाल चंकी तरह धोना है स्पेशली खाना खाने तो पहला और टॉयलेट जाने तो बाद कीपिंग नेल्स क्लीन एंड शॉर्ट यानी अपने हाथों के नाखना छोटे और साफ सुथरे रखना है क्योंकि इन तो ही सब तो जल्दी जी गंदगी है साढ़े पेट के अंदर दाखिल होंगी है एंड कीप फूड कवर्ड यानी अपने भोजन को हमेशा ढक के रखना है ताकि इन पर कोई मक्खिया ना बैठ सकन या कोई धूड़ मिट्टी पै के कोई इन्फेक्शन जोड़ा आ भोजन के जरिए साढ़े शरीर के ना आ सके सो दीज आर अ फ्यू गुड प्रैक्टिस दैट वी हैव टू ऑबजर्व टू रिड्यूस द वॉम इन्फेक्शन इन गुड प्रैक्टिस असं अगर यूज़ करते हैं तो काफ़ी हद तक जोड़ा आम इन्फेक्शन घट जाएगा so now you have looked at the poster thoroughly sara poster asi changi tarah dekh ke pad ke aur puri tarah naal us nu samajh liya hai we know about the different uh, symptoms of worm infection or different practices to reduce the worm infection and the cure for worm infection Now let us look at the questions once again to find the answers. First is which of the following is the symptom of infection? Loss of appetite, unclean surroundings, infected adults or deworming. So to find the answers let's look at the related part of the poster. can you find the answer yes loss of appetite yani bhook na lagna a loss of appetite is the answer now the second question which of the following habit can help to prevent worm infection a weight loss 
B. Open defecation C. Hand washing and D. Diarrhea Let's look at the related part of the poster. Can you find the answer? Yes, it is given right there. Yes. Wash your hands with soap, especially before eating and after using toilet. In other words, you can say hand washing. Hand washing is the correct answer. The next question. What is the easy way to treat form infection? A. Awareness B. Implementation of National Deworming Day C. Intake of albendazole tablet and D. Regular visit to physician Now have a look at the related part of the poster. What does it say? Let's find the answer. It's right there. Yes, using albendazole 400 mg. In the other words, you can say intake of albendazole tablet. So, the correct answer is option C, intake of albendazole tablet tablet. Now let's move on to the next question. The deficiency of iron is called A. Diarrhea B. Nausea C. Infection and D. Anemia Have a look at this part of the poster. You will find the answer very easily. Can you get it? Yes. Yes. It is anemia. The deficiency of iron causes deficiency of blood. That is called anemia. So, the right answer is anemia. It is on option D. The right answer is option D. Anemia. Now, let's jump on to the question number 5. Which of the following is not a good practice to reduce worm infestation? A. Keep food covered. B. Wearing shoes. C. Drinking clean water. And D. Keeping nails dirty. Now look at this part of the poster where you can find the answer to this question. Read the different options. You can get the answer very quickly. Come on. And you get it right. Keep nails clean and short. So it is a good habit to keep the nails clean and short. So the right answer is keeping nails dirty. Keeping nails dirty is not a good practice to reduce worm infestation. The right answer is option D, keeping nails dirty. And now it's time for some food for brain. I mean it's time for the homework. You have to collect some posters, observe them thoroughly and enlist the main points given in them. A few ideas about the posters are the poster of your school in which all the facilities provided by school are given or alternatively you can find out a poster from some newspaper or 
any other poster that is stuck in your street or somewhere else. You can come across any number of these type of posters. So, मेरे ख्याल च कोई इन्ना औखा कम नहीं होएगा तो डेली किसी भी तरह का कोई भी पोस्टर लभना और उधे विच्छो कोई भी मेन पॉइंट्स नो इनलिस्ट करना एंड आई एम शर दैट यू विल डू दिस होमवर्क विद फुल इंटरेस्ट विद दिस अब टुडेस सेशन क्लोजेस Thank you for your patient and attentive listening. I hope that the topic explained was clear and easy to understand for you. I'm sure that you people are able to understand poster comprehension very well now and I'm sure that you will be able to do it very easily in your exams. Thank you once again. Keep learning and keep growing till we meet again.